I met Dave here in Washington, D.C. Uh, yeah. I was, uh, I was 19, he was 17. We were doing a gig at a club called Garvin's. And I remember Dave and I went to McDonald's between shows and we talked about comedy and his future, what his future plans were gonna be. And I said, come to New York City. And after he graduated high school, uh, he did. And he came to New York and we worked at the same comedy club, the Boston Comedy Club. And, uh, all right. I know it's a little confusing. It was a club in New York City called the Boston Comedy Club. Look, I don't come up with the names cokeheads do. <laughs> but in New York, Dave was immediately beloved by the stand-up comedy community. And I, I remember he got a part in the Mel Brooks movie, uh, Robin Hood, Men in Tights, and we were all like, Dave made it! <laughs> he came back to, from uh, LA, and he got right on stage to talk about his trip out west and how he finally went to Compton after hearing so much about it. And he was like stunned to see that people there had yards. <laughs> All the lore of Compton and people were like mowing their lawns. <laughs> and of course they were, but there was just like something about that tiny little detail. And that's what he does. He, he lets himself be surprised by what he learns, and then he, he takes us with him as he you know, looks at it from every angle, you know, angles that most of us don't even see. We were together in Vancouver, and he came over to smoke a joint, and, <laughs> and that's exactly what he did. He came over, <laughs> and he smoked a joint, the whole thing like by himself, <laughs> while pontificating about everything that's wrong with the world. I'll tell you what's wrong with the world, a lack of sharing. <laughs> it's, I think it's puff, puff, pass, not puff, 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 puff. <laughs> Dave, can you believe this? You're getting the freaking Mark Twain prize. <laughs> It's, it's actually perfect that you're getting the Mark Twain Prize because you both love using the N-word in your masterpieces. 